Welcome back, this is Luke, and right now we're going to add all the values and objects necessary to begin coding the game. So we already have a map, what else do we need? So we have all these parts in workspace, let's actually group these together, call this map1, one. map1 one office. And we're going to put a copy of this. So I copied it. And in server server storage, we're going to want to make a folder. By folder, I mean model. <laughs> and inside this model, you're going to want to put all your maps. And so we're going to paste into Office 1. I'm going to call this maps. So any maps that we make, we're going to put into maps in server storage. We're also going to want to, we're going to need a script for our game. So let's just make that now, even though we're not going to code in it. We're just going to call this main script. This is just sorting out everything that we need. We're also going to need in replicated storage, in replicated storage, we're going to need a remote event. This is because we're going to be making our game work with filtering enabled. And when you're working with filtering enabled, you're going to be using lots of remote events to pass over information safely. So that uh, this, this stops uh, the basic exploits and it really uh, makes your game strive if you want to get on the front page. So we're just going to call this, uh, we're just going to leave it remote event. What else? We're going to need tools, but we'll get into that uh, next lesson series. So I'm not going to add those right now. Another thing we're going to need is screen GUI. So, starter GUI. I'm just going to create a screen GUI right now. <laughs> Took me long enough to find it. So, yeah, you put a screen GUI. You're going to want to put a screen GUI and a starter GUI. We're also going to need a local script in there. So, let's put that in here. Local script. Again, we're not actually making it do anything yet, but we will get to that. And this is what we'll be needing for our game. Um, again, the tools will, the tools will come later. Next episode, we'll add the tools and dive into that. But now we know um, what we're going to be working with, and so we've got everything sorted out and ready. In fact, we're actually going to want to. Make a model in workspace, call it map, and put the map in there. This is because, uh, this is so that we know where the map's going to be. Oh, also we're going to want is spawn locations and a lobby. So let's do that real quick. Oop, this part is part of the map. If you hold alt, you can dive through models to select the part you want. So I just did that. And I'm going to cut. Beast. So this part is now in workspace. I'm just going to make a quick lobby real quick. Quick lobby real quick. I'm going to make a lobby real quick. Um, it should be large enough so that people have space to spawn and space to move around in. So I'm thinking um, 80 by 100 looks pretty good. Let's just make it 100 by 100. Keep it simple. Um, just from experience looking at games that are currently on the front page, what's nice is to have a central piece and have the players spawn around it for the lobby. It's also a good idea to to make a lot of spawns and make the ceiling high for your high and probably can collide false um, just because players stack on top of each other when they spawn and it is possible for there to be enough objects under one spawn or on top of one spawn for players to spawn on the ceiling so um, usually I make the ceiling can collide false so that if they do they just fall through it onto the back on, back into where you want them to spawn 
but also make the ceiling high so it doesn't so no one really encounters that um encounters that right now i'm just trying to add a little bit of something to the lobby so it doesn't feel flat like it like a box like a box boxes are boring And you know what? I'm going to make the box just floating off in the distance a little bit. And I'm going to not have it enclosed so that, um, for one, I don't even need a ceiling. And two, it's kind of neat. Um, you don't really see any spawns that aren't fully blocked off. And so this is kind of a, f I'm not, I'm not going to say first, but it, it is unique. And um, <laughs> it gives the people a little bit more freedom to jump off of the, jump out of the lobby if they want to. Of course they won't always want to, but they'll probably do it once or twice just for the fun of it so this is just a simple three three stud tall railing that goes around the border um, three studs is typically the height at which players can walk into and not walk over and then we're also going to want wedge part we're going to want to make this wedge part symmetric, anchored, and smooth on all sides. I'm going to copy this, copy, paste it into server storage. I like to do this with parts that I'm copy pasting quite often. With this, I'm making a way up and down. Now maybe there's a reason um, lobbies normally have walls around them um, and keep the players enclosed, but uh, right now I, I can't imagine a really valid reason, so I'm just going to leave it open. One, one reason might be uh, because they usually have um, objects in here that you can mess around with and push around with physics, and you don't want those falling off, because those don't respawn by default, but uh, I think everything's cool. I think everything looks good. Let's give everything some texture. Hmm, don't know if I want that. Almost looks like a skate park. <laughs> maybe I need to. Maybe that's a good thing. Maybe that's a bad thing. I think that's a bad thing. I'm just trying out a few materials real quick. Not sure if I'm liking them too much. I know in uh, the Mad Murderer, the lobby's just all grass. I'm gonna try that. Oops, not that. It's kind of bugging me that there's not more different shades of green. There will be more later. But right now, I can either make it pale, <laughs> or I can make it super, super saturated. Let's try this screen. We'll leave it like that and we'll make the walls cement. Gives me a soccer feel, but that's okay. I'm going to take all these, put them out here. You need some spawn locations, so right click, insert object, spawn location. Here we go. And we're going to want to make sure that this is set to symmetric form factor. Duration, we can set that to zero. This is your spawn shield. Um, we don't need a spawn shield, so we're setting that to zero. Set all the surface types to smooth. Anchor it. 
think we're good. So this spawn. Oh, one thing you want to make sure you do not do is copy a spawn location and put it into server storage or lighting or anywhere else um, because those spawns do are acknowledged and you will spawn there if the spawn is in lighting. So let's um decide if we want these to be visible or not. I think I do want them to be visible just so that the lobby has a little bit more detail in it. So let's make them look good. What should they look like? They could just be metal. Diamond plate metal. Maybe brighter. A lot of the textures right now are really dark. So you have to use really bright versions. Okay. How big is this? 9x9. Nine nine. Does not need to be that big. We're going to make it... Oops. 8x8, eight 7x7. Eight, seven seven. They're typically 6x6, six six, but we're going to do 7x7. Seven seven. To make sure that they're similarly spaced, we're going to make them 7x7. Seven, seven. So I'm using this one. This is just a technique in building. Or use an object to measure out distances real quickly. Make everything aligned. Here's another building technique. Take this, make it the length you want it, and we're going to center it by doing this. Hmm, so it's not an exact center. It's okay. It probably would have been a smart idea to make these uh, six by six, but it's okay. It's fine. And I'm just getting lazy placing these. Okay, so after you do that, select them all by holding Shift. I'm selecting them all, and then I'm gonna move them down. Just put them in the ground. I think they're too tall. That's kind of nice. That is nice. Okay. This is our simple lobby. Let's test it out really quickly. Yeah, it's a pretty good size. I like it. This needs to be some stuff to do. Uh, maybe put some spheres in here to push around. That's pretty fun. Something to entertain people. And maybe um, we'll put the lobby above the map so you can look down into it. But um, yeah, that's pretty good. So you have the lobby. You have your map sorted out. I'm back in studio edit mode. You have your map sorted out. Um, let's group all this together. Call this a uh, lobby, and it's pretty good. That's it for this lesson. Be sure to check out our next lesson in the series. I'm Stigmaster Luke signing off, and remember, you make the game.